hello guys welcome to the channel okay we have each chromebook here that we want to install a windows on it okay the first step what we have to do is to dismantle the system after dismantling the system the reason why we are doing this is to remove the protection for um to not be able to enter the developer mode because we need to enter the developer mode for us to be able to um download a new firmware so that we can install windows on it okay right on the track we are trying to open the system after this we are going to show you the screws that you need to remove for you to disable the security boot without you disabling that security boot you can you cannot enter the developer mode and which is the screw that's the screw we have to take off all right so we have to assemble back the system after assembling back the system then we have to disable the operating system okay the system is booting fine as you can see all right so we had to um shut down let's shut down and then uh, and disable the operating system okay so we press escape and um, refresh power button together all right that will show you this okay it's telling your OS is missing okay what we need to press is all we need to press the control d then it take us to this place where we have to press enter enter means your os verification is off that means your os is off okay now the next step is you press control d again yeah we take it to the developer mode we have to wait for some minutes for it to transit to the uh, developer mode she is preparing the system for developer mode after this your chrome will restart after restarting what we are expecting it to show your os verification is off so when it shows that you have to press ctrl d it will take you to this take you to the developer mode operating system so now we have to set up it we have to connect to the internet all right we have to type the password of this my wifey okay after typing the password connecting to it then we have to set up down to the desktop okay password was wrong let's insert it again all right okay that's connected all right the next step we accept it's checking for updates after this okay which is in this chrome i'm the one using it okay then we'll type in our email you can put your gmail it must be an gmail it's signed one that you have registered you're signed up then you put the password then you log in and then you log in you are signed in i'm signed in already you accept okay okay we just set up all this set up the assistant then your your system is ready all right so yeah we are ready so we have to go to chrome the next step is for us to go to chrome then we use our key to press ctrl alter go for a key then after that we enter this terminal where we will type in our password in this place you have to change the the root password okay which we have to type the root after typing the root we type in our root chrome os set up the password then we type in the password we want admin and we type in another admin to verify then after that we exist after existing now we have to we have to go to the site where we would download the new firmware okay is mr chromebook all right so when we go there we are going to click on this firmware all right it's showing not found let's go back i'll uh, pick this okay uh we look for firmware utility script 
then we look for the code that is needed to be run okay that's the code that we need to run the next step is to open our terminal okay uh control alter t to open the terminal okay so we type in shell now we are ready to run the uh, code we have to just copy in the code and go to there and paste it so we copy we're going to copy okay we copy it then we paste all right press enter all right so we are ready to run it we put in our password from the root okay we have to type in admin which was our password all right it's downloading then before this is going to install the change we have to back up the uh, firmware the original firmware which is the um the chrome firmware because this we are doing trying to do now we are moving into a uefi where we can boot in windows so this is warning us that we have a right uh, protect enabled so when clean yes because we have disabled the rights so now we are about to install we press 2 on this and after 2 we say yes to proceed to continue yes why why is, is is yes okay then this we have to back up the um the um, firmware former firmware so we are about to do that now so we set our flash drive after inserting the flash drive you just have to when you indicate it you have to press y to say yes it will automatically back up and it will choose the um, storage device which is the flash to be backed up and which it has just indicated so we say yes that's the flash yeah so we have to wait for a while after backing up then it will require you to install the new firmware all right i think we are done backing up and the the full firmware is downloading okay the new firmware is downloading so we just wait for a while okay we are done we are done we are done almost done still installing and uh, take time okay we are done we are done installing so what we have to do we can reboot or we uh, re resist and restart the system so we do reboot okay it's not working let's exist okay let's exist the terminal all right then we restart the system and reboot the system and see if the firmware is installed if we restart it will just show white okay and we have just experienced that now so it's showing white so what we have to do now is to power off then have a power off on it again all right let's see yes this is a new firmware all right this is a new firmware okay there is no windows on it so we have to install a windows on it these are flash we are going to use this flash to install windows we have a windows 10 light it's not going to use normal windows it's going to use windows light then we restart the system okay then we press escape to enter the boot menu all right that's the flash after inserting it okay it's going to load the flash okay if you want to know how to burn your windows into a flash already i've already done a video like this you can take your time to watch the video okay and also i'm going to do a bonus on this video i'm going to drop in the drivers of this this uh, chrome that you need i'm going to drop the uh, os on uh, the windows light because it's not easy to get a windows light i'm going to drop it on my link in the description of this video below so after that we have to delete all the partitions of this um of this drive we're going to delete all the partitions deleting all the partitions after deleting them then we create a new one then install the windows so after doing that i think we are done 
and please if this is very helpful please do well to subscribe to the channel follow me up for more videos like this share my videos to those who need it and to your family your loved ones to those who you think that will be beneficial to this video please do well to do that thank you so much all right so we just delete everything and if you can notice very well the mouse is not working when you are about to install you find difficulty for the mouse to work but don't panic all right because we have the right food drivers that is going to make all your hardware and your operating system to operate very effectively so stay tuned after we are done formatting we are going to do that we are going to show you the drivers that are necessary and as i said the drivers are going to be free i'm going to drop it on a link in my google drive link where you can access it and download it all right so we are done so we have to just wait for it to install after installing after counting finish then we do the necessary setup okay so it's the process is very very easy and um, it's not that hard it's not that hard you just have to follow the steps which i've just showed here and you are good to go you can do it okay you can do it so let's just wait for it to install Okay, you select the region you are right i'm choosing us us then us for my keyboard okay then you can connect to the internet later i'll skip this process for now okay type in the name or the name of my company solo p computer world okay you can create a password if you wish to just a moment then hi almost done getting everything ready for you just a minute okay we are done all right let's just restart and show you how to install the drivers okay assuming you have uh, downloaded the drivers all of my google drive all right yes and everything is working on the keyboard okay let's insert the drivers i have it on my flash okay so here it is on my flash okay so what we have to do we have to insert it and um We are using an external mouse for us to install the necessary drivers that are required okay so you go to the flash then we copy out the drivers then we properly install those drivers okay let's open okay we're running them you run each of the drivers most of the drivers you may experience are not working in a chromebook uh, uh the mouse you experience the mouse not working um you also experience the speaker not playing but this driver is going to help you to install all those drivers that are necessary your mouse will work the speaker will play and uh, other um, drivers like the chipset will still work out so almost done with this video all right as you see i'm still installing the um, drivers that are necessary even the processor this is for the processor all right this will update the processor okay um thank you so much for watching till now i want to appreciate you and uh, i believe this video is helpful please do well 
to like the video and also comment drop your questions on the comment section if you have a contribution please you can do well to drop it if you have any challenges um, while installing you can reach out to me my link is on the description of the video below so do well to do that thank you and um, see you in my next video